Hey, it's getting spicy out there, man. It's getting spicy out there, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like been paying I have been paying attention to what's going on with, you know, Nicki Minaj and you know all the ladies what they have their issues and who don't like who, whatever. But you know what right now? It's getting spicy in the men's section right now. You talk about hip hop, right? We talking about hip hop, right? You know what I'm saying? Drake, J. Cole, Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar. Huh? I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, hey, it's getting real spicy out there. You feel me? You know, I know y'all heard that song like that. On Future and Metro Boomin' new album. I'm saying, bro. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Come on now. You feel me? See, this is the thing, right? This is the thing. This is what I like to see. You know what I'm saying? All this is based around music, okay? Kendrick Lamar, dissing Drake, and J. Cole. You feel me? And we're going to tap in, too. We're going to talk about where that beat came from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to... Hey, because that beat... I don't know if a lot of people understand those horns, that bass line that's used on that Like That, like that song. <clears throat> I, I wonder who picked that beat out. I wonder who really picked that beat. Because shout out to uh, Joe Cooley. What's their name? I'm trying to remember their name. Oh, man, I'm tearing up their name. It's, uh, I think, Joe Cooley and, uh, uh, what's their name? They they actually are the ones who, that beat came from where that sample came from. You know what I'm saying? Rotten Yo and Joe Cooley. That's who I was trying to remember. Shout out to Rotten Yo and Joe Cooley. Y'all need to do y'all Googles to understand where that beat came from on that Like That song. You feel me? But listen, though. It's finally getting spicy in the men's section of this hip-hop thing, man. You feel me? It's finally getting spicy. You feel me? Because I, I ain't going to lie, man. I felt like everybody was trying to be like LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be cool with everybody. You know, let's practice together. You know, that's what LeBron James in basketball, that's what he do. You know, they all, all the NBA players, the stars, they all link up. You feel me? They all link up and practice together and go to the restaurants and eat together. Man, Kendrick said, man, bro, man, forget all that, bro. It ain't no big three. It's just me. <laughs> he says, it's not a big three. It's just me. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar just for that. You feel me? Just for that. He said, forget the you feel me? Forget the best three. The top three. It's just me. Ooh. Do you feel me? Come on, man. I'm just saying, man. We finally getting spicy in the men's section. Can we get spicy in the men's section? You know what I mean? I'm tired of all this, man. Oh, yeah, we cool. We cool. You know, we using beats by Metro Boom and we linking up. Man, bump all that, bruh. And it's a West Coast thing. You feel me? I'm from the Bay Area, too. Come on, man. See, y'all don't even understand what's really happening right now. Y'all don't even understand what's really cracking off right now. You feel me? The, the You got Future. You got Kendrick Lamar. The beat that they use, this is all South and West Coast connection. That beat, shout out to Rodney O and Joe Cooley. You know what I'm saying? They pioneers from the West Coast. And one of the members is from Compton. Kendrick Lamar is from Compton. See, y'all ain't even peeping game, man. You know what I mean? So that's why I wonder who picked out that beat for them to use. And I knew. I've been I've been thinking this, but I, I'm, I'm finally going to say it, right? 
I do feel like with, with Future and Drake, there's something going on there, right? Because when, when her loss came out, when Future, uh, excuse me, when Drake did her loss with, with 21 Savage, they've been doing all these little different collabos, you know, and all this, but Future ain't been in the picture. I know they did that, the last record they, you know, Wait For You. That was the last record, I, from my understanding, that they did together, which is which is a dope record. I mean, it's, if it ain't, you feel me? If it ain't already, well, you know, 10 times platinum, I'm pretty sure it's up there. But I got to, before we, we're going to get to Drake. I mean, excuse me, we're going to get the future. But I'm going to focus on Kendrick Lamar right now, man. This is a Bay Area West Coast thing, and you see how you know he slipped in that bay when he said you ain't le you ain't legit or forty, you ain't legit or forty water. Come on, man! I'm telling you, the Bay to LA, man. You feel me? I know we got different politics, but it's always West Coast, man. Yeah, it's always West Coast, man. That's why I say shout out to Kendrick Lamar. You feel me? Cause he finally stepping up right now. You feel me? He really stepping in and saying, you know what? I ain't with this big three. I ain't with all this kumbaya. Let's just be cool. Nah, bruh. You can't say you the great and you can't, and you don't want to go at other great individuals. You feel me? You can't say you, oh, I'm the dopest rapper and you ain't never battle tested. You know what I'm saying? So we about to really find out how battle tested Kendrick Lamar is. Now he a lyricist. But one thing I like about Drake, what I like about Future, what I like about Kendrick Lamar and J. Cove, not only they can rap, they can make songs. That's important to me. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan of battle rap because they can't make songs. But when it comes to these four guys, they can bar you to death, but they can actually make records, man. You feel me? That means something. You know what I'm saying? When you can actually put a record together that people want to listen to other than, you know, rapidy, 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 rap all day. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's it's it, it, that speaks volumes too. a lot of people forget that it ain't just the bars. You still got to make it. You got to pick the right beat. You feel me? Put the song together, making sure it's a cohesive balance with the bars, the hook, the cadence. So when Kendrick jumped out, he said, man, what's up? And what I love about this, I feel like this is more of a fair battle in the sense of, you know, Drake, he is who he is. J. Cove, we're going to find out what he is, right? Because this would be, if this go down, right, this would be J. Cove, real, real battle, real first battle. Same thing with Kendrick Lamar, from my understanding. You know, they didn't. I don't know anybody else they really battled like that was really, really <clears throat> out there, really kicking and doing a one, two. So I just love the fact that a West Coast rapper, man, you feel me? A West Coast rapper, uh, you know what I'm saying? One of the greats came out here and said, you know what? I'm going to put a name on it. I'm going to put a name on it. And I don't care how you feel about it. I don't care about your big three. It ain't none of that. It's just me. That speak volumes within itself. Regardless how this battle go, I just love to see that because, you know, one thing I love about this, that's why I said this is hip-hop right now. You feel me? This is hip-hop, meaning it's only on wax. This is bars. Now, what you going to do, Drake? What you going to do, J. Cole? Because now we about to find out who is who in the field. And I love that. You feel me? I love that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't try to put me in the... Like you said, man, we ain't clicking up. You ain't legit or at 40 water. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, man. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Kendrick Lamar is like, bruh. I ain't trying to hear that. I know I understand Drake. You want to take a vacation, you know, you know, you know, rest your mind and lay up and do whatever you like to do. Okay, that's cool. But here, take that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kendrick said, man, bump that, man. Bump that. We about to get busy, man. What's up?
And see, this is the thing, right? This is a real, I got to say, a test. Now, I don't know if this is strategic for the fact that right now Drake's supposed to be taking a break. And it's kind of funny how Kendrick want to come at him right now at this moment, right? But nevertheless, regardless what the reasoning is, right? Regardless why they doing it i'm just happy that somebody is doing it and not only somebody is doing it somebody that's really reputable and still in a prime you know what i'm saying because no district no disrespect to push your t push your t he definitely came at drake hard i felt like drake would have won that battle but push your t pulled out that that wild card that nobody was expecting you know what i'm saying you trying to hide the kid from the world. You feel me? I mean, that was just crushing right there. But no disrespect to Pusha T, man. Pusha T is not Kendrick. Kendrick, I would say he's more of a Pusha T, but more advanced, more advanced than a Pusha T. You feel me? So I feel like this is more... This is more up to date. This is more official because not only Kendrick got the bars, he got, you can't say he ain't selling. You feel me? You can't say he not a platinum artist. You can't say that he ain't, you feel me, been crushing stuff and selling records at the same time. See, that's, that's important too. Because all that lyrical miracle, if you ain't getting people to pr buy into your product, man, what are you really doing out here? You feel me? So I just personally feel like, man, yeah, this is this should be a nice, good battle right here. This should be something, hey, man, you know what I mean? Everybody need to be paying attention. If you're a hip-hop fan, if you, if you love rap music, this is the one y'all need to be paying attention to right here. This is it. You feel me? This is the one because this is what we need. And we're going into the summertime, too. Ooh. We going into the summertime? Come on, man. Oh, man, that, don't tell me. So I, my whole question is, how long is it going to take for them to respond back to this? That's my other question. How long is it going to take for Drake or J. Cole to respond, right? Because this ain't, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick ain't Meek Mills, man. You feel me? Kendrick is not Meek Millie. Nah, nah. <laughs> That ain't going to work over here, man. <laughs> you got to come a whole lot doper than that. You feel me? Meek is over there, man. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick is right in your face. You feel me? He like, what's up? <laughs> I love it, man. I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what we needed, man. Anybody that love hip-hop music, you this is what we needed. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? To set off the, the spring right going into the summer, man. This is what we need, man. It's going to be a hot summer. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a hot summer, man. You know what I'm saying? I just personally feel like who's going to be the first one to respond back to what Kendrick said? And you can't just come with no, you know, quick little, you know what I'm saying, light jab because I felt like Another thing I feel like too with Kendrick by him while him being the one to really come out here and shoot first direct because this is another thing too. You know, I said this even with the Nicki Minaj situation with Megan Thee Stallion, right? It's not really to me the diss doesn't count until you like direct aim at something. You can't just, you know, give a bar or two. So with Kendrick coming out and saying it direct you know what I mean? He ain't trying to be part of your big three. It's just me. Ooh. Come on, man. I'm just saying, man. He coming straight at him right now. And, and what I love about it, he took shots at both Drake and J. Cole. That's a cold dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Not too many rappers I don't feel would, would do that. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? So for, for Kendra to come out and do that, I personally feel like this was his warm-up. You know how when Drake was battling Meek, he came up with the charge dub, then he did the back-to-back. -back. Since, since Kendrick was the first one to really fire directly, this is I feel like Kendrick got way more tucked 
or already loaded, ready to go, just waiting for somebody to respond. That's how I personally feel about it. I feel like this is Kendrick Lamar. See how I flipped? See how I flip around? And I think that's why I said this was, I feel like with Kendrick, this was so strategic because, you know, Drake was supposed to have been on a break. You know what I'm saying? You know, this the last album he put out, this is for the dogs. You know, he was supposed to just kind of take a break, you know, pop up here and there. But Kendrick is like, nah, bro, <laughs> I'm hungry right now. You feel me? And I don't care who in front of me. I'm trying to I'm trying to eat the whole plate and I'm snatching yours. <laughs> so Drake, man, I and you know another thing too, when I think more about it, right? With Drake, I feel like ever since the Meek battle or the Meek slaughter, I should say. Because Meek got slaughtered. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even a battle. It was like, you know, somebody just punches somebody in the face and the other person just, they can't even swing. They trying to get ready. Every time they get ready to swing, they catch, bah, bah. You know, they catch combos. Bing, bing, bing. You know what I mean? They wake up still swinging. Like, I was trying to swing. <laughs> it's over, man. We we threw in a white towel. It was So with Meek Millie, man, that ain't nothing. But anyway, I just personally feel like with Drake, he really haven't, you know, he's battle tested for show. I'm not going to take that away from Drake. But at the same time, I think with Drake, he's been on the top for so long. And I will say he's been at the top. And there is no number one bigger than Drake right now. I'm sorry. But with him being at the top and he really hasn't had anything to aim at or nobody was aiming at him. I don't know if he, you know, if he, if he still got that fire in him like that, you know what I'm saying? I know he still got bars, but does he have that fire in him like that? You know, cause it's one thing, even Mike Tyson said years ago when he got knocked out by Buster Douglas, man. And that was, that was a shame because he was supposed to beat Buster Douglas, you know, from, from a boxing fans. When Mike Tyson got knocked out, right. By somebody he should have easily beat. He said in some interview, I don't know if it was a few years later, he said it was hard for him to get up and train when he laying in 6,000 thread count, thread count satin sheets, meaning he was living so comfortable and relaxed. You know, he, he kind of got away from what made him. And I feel like with Drake, it's kind of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because even on a, you know what I'm saying? On a first a first person shooter with him and uh, Kendrick, Kendrick really watched Drake on that song, you know, and that just was telling me even with that, I okay, Drake probably need a break, you know what I'm saying? He need a break because J Cole been, you know, he been really kicking them bars, you know, this is his latest features he been doing, right? Uh, J Cole, but I just personally feel like with Drake, he been on the top for so long and nobody really came and tested his crown you know what i mean nobody really came up and tried to snatch his crown and i feel like with Ken, uh, with kendrick he's definitely he's definitely someone who can come up and snatch that crown you know what i mean if you if you don't come out because with kendrick i personally feel like you got to come out and really body him because he gonna come back with them bars and and not only that i feel like with kendrick he can he can hang with any of them you know, it just depends on how motivated and how, you know, how ready he is. But I personally feel like Kendrick is definitely ready for this battle. For him to come out and be the one that's come direct, I feel like Kendrick is waiting to see what Drake or J. Cove do. You know what I mean? Because I feel like J. Cove, he's been hungry. Because, I mean, me personally, I like more of J. Cove old records than the new. The last album I listened to from J. Cove, to be honest with you, was when he was sitting in the trees. You know what I mean? The forest, you know what I mean? <laughs> when, wherever you, you know, the forest album or whatever they called it. You know, that's the last uh, J. Cove album I really listened to, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? So I personally feel like J. Cove got something to prove. Drake, yeah, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Do we still got it left in him? Do we still got gas in the tank? I know he got bars, but does he have that gas in him still? Do we still got that hunger, that desire? You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like 
when Drake was when he was in his meek bag, I call it the meek meal bag, when he was eating up meat plate, I felt like he was still he he was still trying to prove something. Now that Drake is in it's cause that's why I said Drake is in the uh, be honest with you, he's in the most vulnerable position because he'd been on top for so long and nobody really came at him in a while. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can kind of get too relaxed or too comfortable or just just feeling like you're just overconfident for anybody, and that's when somebody can come in. You feel me? Take your crown. And that's why I gave the Mike Tyson reference because Mike Tyson was on top of the world. You feel me? He knocking folks out in the first two minutes. You know what I mean? You, Mike Tyson back in the days, his fights only lasted like two to three rounds until he got to a point where he got too comfortable. He laying up with too many ladies, you feel me? And like, oh, I got to go box today and got knocked out. So I just personally feel like with Drake, is it going to be the same type of thing for the fact that he ain't been battled in a while, you know what I'm saying, his last few albums? You know, I like the, you know, the Her Loss, 21, what you do something for me. I like that album. And even the one he put out with uh, No Industry Friends, that one was cool. But I just personally feel like Drake, he's been on top and he ain't really been tested in a while. I think this is a nice, good uppercut that Kendrick gave Drake and J. Cole just to say, hey, man, I'm here. What's up? I just love that fire, man. You feel me? And we can, like I said, it's all hip hop. That's what I love about this. This ain't no physical type thing. This is strictly on wax on, on, you know what I'm saying? Music. I love that, man. This is what hip hop need, man. This is what I personally need because I just feel like everybody was trying to be too cool, man. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, folks want to be like LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Everybody practicing together, all the stars hanging out together. Nah. J. Cole, I mean, excuse me, Kendrick pulling up like, bro, I ain't with that. What's up? <laughs> you feel me? You know what I mean? What's up? I'm in the building. What's up? So, yeah, man. Yeah, I think this is fine. Like I said, it's finally getting spicy, man. It's finally getting spicy. We about to find out who who is who up in this piece. You feel me? Are you really like that? And then what makes it even more interesting, right? It's what future. See, I knew something was up when Drake did the album with 21 Savage, right? Her loss. Even before that, when when Drake put out the little disco album, you know, uh, thank what was it called something thanks. I don't know, something about thank you or something about whatever that disco album he put out or tech album. I don't know what you call it, right? Oh, honestly, never mind. That's what it was called. Honestly, never mind. When Drake put out Honestly, Never Mind, right? 21 Savage was on that song called Sticky, which I do like that record. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of good music at the end of the day, regardless, right? But when they did that Sticky record, I was like, okay, they got something. I think, you know what I mean? And then, of course, you know, a year later or so, they came out with her loss. But what I start to notice is Future wasn't on any of these albums. Yeah, they had the record. And I bet you that that Wait, uh, Wait For You record, they've probably been sitting on that one for a while. I'm not sure, but I, I'll be surprised. So that's telling me that Future and, and Drake, they may not have been cool for a minute. Now, what happened? I don't know. Was it a contract dispute? Don't tell me it was over a female, dog. Don't tell me Drake and, and Future, you know, if, if they do have an issue, don't tell me it's over a female, dog. Don't tell me that. Is that what this is? Because I remember I was listening to a Future album, him and Metro Boom, and that new album they got out, right? He did reference saying that, um, you know, him and his partner, they be smashing the same chicks. You know what I'm saying? So did somebody catch feelings? <laughs> You know what I mean? Don't tell me Drake caught feelings with one of the ladies or something and was mad that Future was giving her back shots. Don't tell me that's what was happening. I Man, I'll be surprised. I don't know if we ever going to get that true uh, conversation to find out because it's one thing for 
Kendrick to come up with that verse, right? To write that verse and lay it down. It's another thing for future to put it out. Especially if Drake is your partner. Especially if you and Drake is, is, is real tight the way y'all been promoting it for all these years, right? I mean, y'all did an album together. Y'all done did hella features together. For future to allow the, Kendrick to be on the record, gassing, on the record, coming at Drake and J. Cole. To me, that tells more about future and Drake than Kendrick and Drake. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, because if Drake, my homie, even if, you know what I mean, even if we got disagreements, if he my homie and you come in, you want to diss him on my record, I'm going to be like, bro, you got to switch your verse up or we ain't putting it out. But because Future and Metro Boomin put it out, to me, most people, if they, ha if they haven't f caught on to this or at least thought about it this way, I think this more explains or this more shows of the disconnect between Drake and Future than Kendrick Lamar. You feel me? Because at this point in their career, I would assume, you know what I'm saying? I would assume that, you know, when it comes to Future and who he want on his records and uh, he has more control on what comes out. I would imagine, you know, what I'm just for the fact you've been in the game for this long, he would have that, you know, you know, he would have that power when it comes to, okay, I'm going to put this record out. I'm going to, you know, to switch this verse up or we ain't putting it out. I can imagine future being able to have that control. I mean, I would have, I would expect him to have that control at this point. Right. So for this record, even to come out, cause even if J Cole, uh, even if, excuse me, even if Kendrick Lamar dropped the verse and, and future heard it, it, he still had to make a decision to put it out. So for the fact he put it out, that tells a bigger story to me. You feel me? That tells a whole lot of what's really going on between Future and Drake. I don't know what happened. I just, man, just don't tell me it was over a female, dog. Don't tell me it was over a female. I would be shocked if it's over a lady, man. If it's over a female, if a female somehow is linked into this, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> you feel me? I'm going to just be like, man, cold game out here, man. Cold game. You feel me? But I got to say, man, it's going to be a spicy summer, man. You know what I mean? It's going to be a spicy summer. I wonder who's going to respond first. Is they going to respond in the group verse since they clicking up? Like Kendrick said, y'all clicking up, but you ain't legit or 40 water. Whoo. Come on, man. It's, it, it's a beautiful thing when you're a great individual, when you're a great artist, man. Because you can, you can, <laughs> you feel me? You can go at them anytime you want to. you like, you know what? <laughs> Drake, you thought you was going to take a break? Uh-uh. <laughs> Drake, you thought you was going to just kick back and enjoy your vacation for a little while? Uh-uh. Kendrick say, no, sir. Forget the big three. It's just me. Do you feel me? <laughs> huh? Forget the big three. It's just me. Ooh. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that's that's my whole thing. It's like, I don't get it, man. I do not get it. You know, and it's like, I personally feel like we about to really find out who is who around here, man. We're going to really find out who's really about that action. Because I'm telling you, because I don't, I personally feel like Kendrick Lamar got a lot more. He got some more. I'm pretty sure he probably got, I, I, I would imagine. Kendrick Lamar probably got at least another two songs tucked right now. You know what I mean? Just waiting for somebody to, you waiting for uh, Drake or J. Cove to react. You know what I'm saying? 
That's why I say it's going to be it's, it's real spicy. It's finally getting spicy out here. You feel me? I'm tired of all this. Oh, yeah, we cool. We cool. Yeah. Now, I'm tired of all that, bro. Somebody need to get activated. And Kendrick, I love the fact Kendrick got activated because he's from the West Coast, man. And like Tupac say, we bomb first over here, man. <laughs> we bomb first, huh? You know what I mean? We bomb first over here on the West Coast, man. You know what I mean? It, it that's crazy too. It, it it take a West Coast artist to really say, "Hey, man, I ain't cool with this." What's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? It take a West Coast artist to tell you one of our greats from the West to say, "Hey, man, I ain't with this big three. It's just me, huh?" We ain't playing out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't playing out here. And I love the fact you put uh, Be Legit and E-40 in that. So that's just letting you know it's all West Coast. You know what I'm saying? From the Bay to L.A. It's West Coast, man. And guess what? I got a lot of family. I know a lot of family from the Bay Area that moved to Atlanta. So for future, you know what I'm saying, putting it on the album, for the ones who know the Bay Area and Atlanta or Georgia, we well connected. It's a lot of people that moved from California to Atlanta. You know, and I say from the early 2000s that I know about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that the Bay to LA, the Bay to the ATL, we well connected out here, man. So it's just, it's real funny how. You know, J. Cole, I mean, excuse me, Kendrick Lamar put this this verse on Future album, and the beat they used was from a group called uh, Rodney O and Joe Cooley. You know what I'm saying? Everlasting Bass. That's the name of the record. Y'all can Google that. You know what I'm saying? The Everlasting Bass. Bum, 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 bum. Bass. That's where them horns come from, and the beat and the beat pattern. If y'all don't know, man, and that's a West Coast group. They out of L.A. One is from Compton, and one is uh from Riverside. The, that beat, the beat makers, the ones who actually the original beat that uh, Metro Boomin sampled that from is Rodney O. Joe Cooley. They from L.A., man. You feel me? So this is just West Coast to the Bay connection all over it, man. <laughs> It always take a West Coast. It always take a West Coast artist to get it started, man. Huh? It's something about that West Coast, man. You know what I mean? We like to get activated out here, man. I'm loving it though. You know what I mean? That's why I say it's getting real spicy out here. You feel me? It's getting real spicy. <laughs> huh? It's getting real spicy out here. I wonder how long it's going to take for Jer uh, Drake to respond. That's what I'm waiting on. J. Cole, he cool. But I want to know when Drake going to respond. Because he, you know, he seemed like he, you know, he loved for somebody to battle him. So I want to know what Drake going to do now. I know you was trying to take a break, Drake. I'm sorry, bro. This hip-hop, man. You got to respond. Don't tell me Drake don't respond. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if Drake don't respond to this, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to come at academics, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna have to holler at Act, man. I'm gonna get you know what I mean. Send him some emails, like, "What's up with your boy, man?" <laughs> I'm gonna try to get on Academics Live or something, man, and be like, "Man, hey, you don't know me, but hey, man, what's up with your homie?" <laughs> But I think Drake going to respond, though. I think Drake going to respond. He got to respond. You can't let the homie from Compton do you like that. Huh? You know what I'm saying? See, y'all thought y'all thought the West Coast was just sandy beaches and palm trees. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. We get activated over here, too, man. You feel me? We get activated over here in a positive way, man. So you better have your bars up to par. 
Because this ain't no Meek Mill beef, bro. This ain't no Meek. This ain't no Twitter fingers. You know what I mean? Nah, bro. We got a lyrical assassin over here. A lyrical assassin over here on the West Coast, man. Huh? And don't sleep on future either, though. Uh, you know what? That's another thing, too, right? So is they going to team up for these records, though? You know what I'm saying? Because Kendrick already said y'all clicking up. So is Drake and Kendrick, I mean, excuse me, is Drake and J. Cove, are they going to do a record, a diss record together? Nah. I mean, they could. But would they? And if they did do a diss record together, Drake and uh, J. Cove, Will Future and, and, and Kendrick do an album, a record together again? Nah, it wouldn't feel right if they do it together. I mean, it would be hot, though. I, now that I think about it, that would be a hot record, though. But nah, you can't do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because he called them out individually. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I... I I'll be curious how this thing going to play out, too. And make sure y'all hit that like button as y'all come on in. Support the channel by hitting that like button. I appreciate that. You feel me? When you hit that like button. You're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. My name is Sean B. Stoll. If you're not familiar, huh? We just chopping up a little game tonight. Just chopping up some game tonight. But look, though. I want to know who going to respond first. Who going to respond first? That's what I want to know. And it better not be no weak, no little light jab, because he came out to, he came out here gunning, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He came out here gunning. He like, bro, I'm about it. Is you about it, about it? <laughs> Is you about it? We about it, about it over here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He like, we bought it, bought it over here. What's up? I'm just like, man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. Did you like that? Hey, come on, man. I'm telling you, man. I got to say, right? If, if, I wonder who's going to respond first. And if nobody respond, right, which I don't see that happening, though. But if nobody respond to Kendrick, what would people say then? You feel me? But I, I don't see that Drake or J. Cove is not going to respond. I, that would be crazy of them. You know I mean, that would affect their legacy to me. You know what I'm saying? But I think they're going to respond. I just can't wait for they respond, man, because... I just want it to be, you feel me? I want them to really go in. And let's see who let's see how this war ends, man. But I, I tell you this though. I like the fact this is a you know a lyrical battle in the sense of 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 who's who's the best. But on the flip side, I'm like, dang, future and future and Drake really ain't cool. <laughs> Future and Drake really ain't cool, man. Because you can't tell me if you my partner. Because I remember Drake said on one of his verses a while ago, he said, Future come with the contract. He just, he don't even, he don't even read it over. He just signed it. Because that's how much he trusts Future when it comes to them doing business together, right? So fast forward to where we at today. For Kendrick to kick that verse on a Future album. And Future don't have him either change the verse up or not use the verse. That tell you what his relation with Future relationship and Drake relationship is how they really do have a disconnect. Because you can't tell me you my partner and you got somebody murder mouthing me on your record. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Talking about nobody really murdering. I'm saying murder mouthing, meaning lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Conversation. Okay, YouTube. I'm not saying any type of you know what I mean? We're not talking about no criminal or no, you know, type of act, okay? <laughs> I just got to say that for you too, man, because they be tripping, man. But anyway, I just feel like 
if you my partner, right, and you got somebody over there talking reckless about me, and you don't check them, I'm not going to look at them. I'm going to look at you because you my partner. And you're going to let homeboy just get the talking reckless about me and you didn't check him. So just and when I'm referencing to it's like if, if Future and Drake is that cool when Kendrick sent the verse or however he did the verse, you know, Future was supposed to be like, hey, man, hey, hey, you know, what I'm saying Kendrick, you cool, bro. But uh, you can't be saying all that on the album, on the verse, man. You got to swap it out or switch something up. And for the fact that Future didn't have Jake uh, had uh, Kendrick Lamar do that. That tells me more of the disconnect between Drake and Future. So even though I do like to see how this battle ends, it kind of kind of sucks for the fact that Future and Drake is not cool. You feel me? It's like, man, I thought they was tight. But I knew something was up because, you know, for the last, let's see, what it, he came out with, Honestly, it was an uh, the honest album. The little when Drake put out the little disco album, Future wasn't on it. When he put out Her Loss, Future wasn't on it. When they put when he put out uh uh what was the last the last album just put out for the dogs, Future wasn't on. But he had a song called What Would Pluto Do? But you don't have Pluto on the record. Thank you for the like, too. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. So I'm just thinking about it, right? For the last three projects that Drake put out, no future was on that. And for them, they, if you go back and look prior to these last three albums Drake put out, future always been on Drake album. Vice versa. When, 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 when uh, future put out an album, they usually have some type of feature together on it, in which Drake is on a future last album, you know, Wait For You, which is a smash. I still knock that song today with uh, Tim's, I believe that's her name. That's a, man, that's a smash. And they had a lot of success, definitely a lot of success. I still listen to What A Time To Be Alive. I still listen to that. You know what I mean? Dun, 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 dun. Had to change locations. So I like that. I mean, the album they put out. I know it's, it's been out. Been a, definitely well. Been a while too. Ooh man, that album came out how long ago? Maybe about what seven, eight years ago. Jeez, I can't believe it's been that long. Well, at least about five years ago, I would say. Change locations. You know what I'm saying? Plastic bag, digital dash. I mean, they had a, a nice little album, a mixtape, or whatever you want to call it. I call it an album. It wasn't a mixtape to me, but you can't say it was a collective of songs. But either way, they put it together and they put it out. So for them to have that type of relationship, and like I said earlier in the live, Drake had said that when Future come with contracts or come with deals to the table, he don't even look it over. He just sign it. So if that's true, and for Future to allow Kendrick to not only lay the verse if he was there and to put it out, that tells you the disconnect right there. So, hey, man. But either way, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> let's get ready to rumble, y'all. Huh? Who y'all got? Y'all got Drake and J. Cove. I said J. Cove. J. Cole. <laughs> you got Drake and J. Cole? Or do you have Future and Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> you feel me? This is a beautiful time in, in, in hip-hop. And I got to say, man. I got to say this too, man. You know, a lot of people want to hate on Americans and, you know, the FBAs, FBA, whatever, man. But y'all got to admit, you got to admit, man. You know, America's, you know what I'm saying? America's, we really the shit, man. You feel me? We influenced the whole world, man. And with this battle, man, watch how many 
how, how many uh reactions you're going to see videos when it comes to who come out with a disc record first you know what i mean you gotta love america man we we, we help the world grow we help the world connect together huh <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. And the beautiful thing about this, this is all music, man. It ain't got nothing to do with personal stuff, even though I don't know how this started. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know how this got started. I don't know if Future, you know what I mean, smash Drake chick or something, or did Drake smash Future chick? I don't know, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know how this got started. But I'm loving the way it's, the direction is going right now. You feel me? I want to know who's going to respond next. Huh? Who's going to come with the Twitter fingers? Because I felt like, you know what I'm saying? Well, this, you know what? What we thought was going to happen against uh, Drake and, and Meek Mills, this is, what, this is how it should have went. How Kendrick Lamar responded and came efficient came with bars come on man he came on here and really kicked it off so i want to know who who really gonna take the who gonna really jump out the window and get active do you know what i'm saying who gonna really get active and come at kendrick man and future can't leave future out there to hang future out there too bro you know what i mean so Drake, <laughs> Drake, <laughs> you know what I mean? And Soldier Boy voice, Drake. <laughs> well, I mean, what you going to do, Drake? All that first person shooter. Yeah, that was cute, man. That was cute. Okay, okay. But we about to find out what y'all really about. It's Kendrick, a West Coast man. You know what I'm saying? A West Coast artist lit the match first. He he bombed first. What's up? You know what I mean? What's up, man? Huh? <laughs> That's why y'all be hating on the West Coast, man. That's why y'all be hating on the West. Y'all know we got issues out here. You know what I mean? But hey, man. Don't get mad at the West, man. And the South, that's that's man, that's our that's our relatives. The East, y'all cool. You know what I mean? Up top, you know, Canada, y'all cool. But the, the, you know what I'm saying? The West Coast and the South, man, we like this, bro. You feel me? We like this. Two peas in a pod, man. I got so many people. I know so many folks in the early 2000s. I know personally that moved from the Bay and moved to Atlanta, moved to Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I know a few people that moved from Georgia up to the Bay Area. So, man, we so connected out here. It, I mean, it goes back further than that, but I'm just trying to give you an example of how we so connected with the South, man. The Bay and the South, come on, man. Ask your favorite artist, man, from the, from, from the ATL or from the South in general. They got a lot of relatives out here. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man. You know? You know? So we about to find out who really about it. Is you really about it, about it? Are you about it, about it? <laughs> we about to find out who really about it, about it, y'all, man. You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, man, it always take a West Coast cat to really kick it off, man. Why is that, huh? You know, when even back when Tupac was, you know, had the issues with Biggie, man, he kicked it off first. I ain't got no friends. Don't get money. <laughs> Why well, do always take a West Coast artist to really get activated, man? Huh? The West, we be the ones who really get activated out here. I'm sorry, man. I know the East Coast, y'all got a lot of spitters out there, but y'all be doing too many subliminals, man. Only on the West Coast, we bring it to your front door, man. We can bring it right to you so it won't be no confusion. It ain't no sidebar. It ain't your mans in them. We bring it right to your front door and let you know what it is. And what you, so now, now that you know, what are you going to do about it, huh? <laughs> hey, man. 
Hey, man, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Don't get mad at the messenger, man. But did you get the message? <laughs> you know what I mean? It always take a West Coast cat to set it off, man. That's funny, right? That's real funny if you think about it, man. They always take a West Coast cat to set it off. <laughs> we the ones who get active over here. You feel me? <laughs> oh, man. Hit that like button as y'all come on in. Support the channel. Hit that like button. You're new to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? We just chopping up a little game tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about the record like that. You know what I mean? And I got to say, I mean, even, even with the disc record, I mean, the album in general was jamming, though. I ain't going to even front on y'all, man. If y'all ain't heard that new album uh, with Future, or the whole album, I know like that is, is, is definitely cracking. You know what I'm saying? That's a slapping song for show. But I got to say, the future of Metro Boomin', the album itself, oh, it's, it's it's a hot album. Yep, it's a hot album. We Don't Trust You. Ooh, and that's a crazy title, right? That's a crazy title if you think about it. For them to have the record called We Don't Trust You, right? And then for this song to be on the album, Who they talking about? Who they don't trust? I'm just saying. I'm just saying who they don't trust. And then for this record to come out, you know what I'm saying? For this record to come out, for this record, for Kendrick to be kicking the way he kicking on this album, I'm just saying. Who they talking about? Who they don't trust? Because if I remember correctly, didn't Metro Boomin and Drake, didn't they have an issue? If I'm not mistaken. Metro Boomin and Drake, they, they've they been having a beef or, or a, you know, a dislike of each other. Right? I'm just saying. So for them to have that, right? And then for this record to come out the way it came out, Kendrick did what he did. And then the album is called We Don't Trust You. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, who's going to be the first one to kick it off with the response? Who going to really get active and respond to this? That's what I want to know. Who going to really respond to this? You feel me? Because, uh, ouch. And, you know, and Kendrick been quiet for a while, too. Is this the re another reason why Kendrick been quiet for a while? Is he trying to see what's really cracking out here? He trying to see what's really going on out here. I'm just saying. It's kind of odd for Kendrick to be so quiet. And then the first record he come back on. He say it ain't a, you know, forget the big three is just me. That's how you come back. And now if I'm not mistaken, I think. Kendrick is either independent or he got a new contract. You know what I'm saying? So he got a better deal. He coming back. He ain't dropped nothing in a while. And his first verse that he kick it off with is dissing Drake. <laughs> Ouch. I'm just saying. So I felt like this been brewing for a while. This been brewing for a while. This ain't something that they, uh, <laughs> that just happened that got sprung upon. You feel me? It ain't something that just got sprung upon real quick. Nah, this has been brewing for a while. And, and they finally got activated got with it. You know what upon. I'm saying? They finally got, you know what I'm saying, got activated with it. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I 
I'm just saying, bro. I sure want to see who going to get activated first, who going to be the first responder since they said first person shooter, who going to be the first person to shoot they shot back at, at Kendrick or even future. You know what I'm saying? I want to know who finna get activated. That's what I want to know. You feel me? Who really about to get activated on here? You know what I'm saying? But all I can say is it took a West Coast it took a West Coast artist for them to get activated, man. Huh? It took the West Side, man. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. You wonder why on the West we do it a little different. You wonder why on the West we, you know, we we beat to our own drum out here. This is a, a good reflection on how we get down out here to the sense of, man, we stand on what we stand on. <laughs> you feel me? And unapologetic about it, huh? Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Don't get mad at the messenger, but did you get the message, huh? <laughs> you feel me? Like, hey, man. Hey, man. What's up, man? Huh? <laughs> Hey man, cause he. Hey, I gotta say, man. Every time I didn't listen to that, I listened to that record a few times. A few times I didn't listen to that record, man. I can't remember how many times I listened to that record. I want to say at least. I'm trying to think how many times I listened, cause I've been listening to that, like that record for at least about. probably 20 times today because I wanted to, before I did my live, I wanted to really like lock in and listen to the verse. You know what I'm saying? So I really locked in and I'm like, man, Kendrick really went in, bro. Oh, what's up, Herbert? No, oh, man. From Uganda. What's up, man? We just chopping it up. Did you hear that record? You heard the uh the future record with uh J. Cove? Like that? I know you had to listen to that record, man. But I'm just saying. Who gonna be the first one to respond? And what type of respond will they bring? You know what I mean? I I, I do think though, would have would Kendrick have did this verse if he didn't, if he knew that Drake wasn't on the break or trying to be on the break? You know, was that part of his plan? You know what I mean? Like, I, I really would like to know that. Is that part of his plan for the fact that Drake was supposed to be on the break? So my thing is for Kendrick to do this verse right now, right? Or whenever they put this out, right? Because we don't know how far back this goes. But it doesn't even matter. You know, it's still new. So it doesn't matter when they recorded it. It's the point of when you put it out, right? So that's why I say this is way deeper than Kendrick Lamar. This is more of a telling of future than anything. You know what I'm saying? And Metro Boomin. I feel like that's the real story. But. Regardless, Kendrick did what he did. He sent the shots. He put it out there. And now it's ball is in it, it, it's in Drake court and in, in J. Cove court. What they gonna do with it? I can give it to you, but what are you gonna do with it? Well, I can give it to you. What 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 what? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just saying. Hold up, y'all. Wait a minute. Yo, what's up? Hold up. Hey, what's going on? I'm live right now. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, I will. I'm gonna put him in. I'm put him in the. Uh, I'll put him in the dryer. Okay. Where are you at? You taking a break? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm on live right now. Um, I'll put him in the dryer in a little bit. I'm, once I get finished with the line. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. All right. All right. All right, Bob. It. But anyway. Yeah, man. You know, I handle business on the phone. You do the live. You know, with, with Sean B. Still, I got to tell y'all, man. When I do my lives, man, this is really live. This is uncut, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm my own editor. You feel me? I do my own thumbnails. I do everything, man. You know, I'm not that big yet. So, you feel me? So, but anyway, check it out. I feel like... When it comes to this disc record, this tells more of are a lot of artists are they really not cool and they just cool because you know the success of the of the of the music they do. Because I thought Drake and, and Future was cool, but I like I said, I knew something was up a while ago because they stopped you haven't hearing about them doing a feature, Drake uh, Drake, <clears throat> Drake and Future. They haven't done a record in about three albums. You know what I'm saying? So something has went off. Is it something to do with Future getting a, getting a deal we got for publishing or something? Did that have cut out Drake somehow? You feel me? Or did Drake do something on the back end? Or don't tell me it's about a female, man. Don't tell me they beef is over a female, man. I That would be a shame. <laughs> but at the same time, would it really... <laughs> You know, would you expect anything different? You feel me? If it was about a female, I'm just saying. Most people who beef would usually be over over a female, unfortunately. So, yeah, man. I just I'm just curious how all this how this even got started. At least for future part, Kendrick, I kind of get it though because I felt like for a while. A lot of people just in general was kind of counting, you know, Kendrick Lamar out. It was more so of uh, Drake and and J. Cole. And, you know, and Kendrick don't put out records that often. So I personally feel like I can see Kendrick feeling some type of way because it's like I'm not on the scene as much, you know, and I felt like even on a first person shooter, you know, it wasn't some subliminals that they was uh, taking shots at Kendrick on might be, I had to go back and listen to that. But either way it goes, Kendrick, yeah, he took offense to something and he said, man, I'm, I'm tired of playing with y'all. Let's get active. <laughs> Let's get active. And I love that, man. Let's see who going, who going, who going to come up to the plate. You know what I mean? Who's next up to bat? Who gonna get busy? Because he said, y'all clicking up. You ain't legit or E40. Come on, man. Or 40 water. Come on, man. Hey. You know, that's just some bay thing. You know what I mean? It's some bay things, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, man. But I gotta say, I sure want to see who, who gonna get active first, man. What they respond, and will somebody take shots at Future? That's a good question too. Because everybody talking about Kendrick, right? What about somebody taking a shot at Future for the fact that he put the record out? You know what I mean? Metro Boomin, same thing. What's up? You know that's a good question. You know what I mean? Hit that like button as y'all come on in. You feel me? Support the channel by at least hitting that like button, man. That's all I ask of thee. You like what I'm kicking? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. You know? But, yeah, I got to say, man, it's going to be a, a beautiful summer, man. It's going to be a nice summer. I, can, I, I sure want to know. Who, who gonna kick it off first? And this would be perfect for the summer, man, because I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna be in Vegas. A matter of fact, I'm gonna be in Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta in June. So come on, man. I need I need somebody to get active. Somebody gotta come at Kendrick, man. Somebody gotta come at Kendrick. Somebody need to come at uh future. 
Who going to get active? That's what I want to know. Who really going to get active? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because Kendrick kicked it off. He kicked it off. He said, hey, man, I'm here. Let's go. I'm ready to get busy. I ain't trying to hear nothing about no big three. You know what I mean? I don't care nothing about your first shooter. Nah. What's up? <laughs> you feel me? He want to know what's up. What's, what's good, man? <laughs> he pulling up. <laughs> Kendrick pulling up like Debo, man. <laughs> Kendrick pulling up like Debo, man. You feel me? From Friday. He pulling up like Debo from Friday. He want to know what's up. What's good? You know what I mean? He pulling up like Debo, like, what's good, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he want to know what's cracking out here. Because he's tired of y'all talking. He tired of that lyrical miracle, and you ain't putting the name on it. So he put a name on it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? He put a name on it. He want to know what you want to do. It's good. Let's get activated. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. You know? So that's that's the thing. <laughs> Let's get activated. What you going to do with it? You know, I'll drop the link too. If anybody want to come up, you got something you want to say or something you, you know, got a comment about the, uh, you know, about the Kendrick Lamar verse, future Drake, J. Cole. I dropped the link in there, even Metro Boom. And y'all got anything you want to discuss about it? You know, come on up. I dropped the link up there. If y'all want to chop it up tonight, don't be scared. You feel me? It's all good. But I feel like this, though, right? I think that uh, this is going to be a, a one hell of a summer, man. This summertime, it's going to be cracking out here. You know? Because somebody got to respond. You know? Somebody gonna have to respond. You can't let you can't let little Kendrick come in and kick the door in, like how Snoop and Dog Pound how they kicked the. Uh, let me see if I can pull that video up. How they kicked the uh, the buildings down in New York. I can't let Kendrick come on in and just start moving furniture around, and you didn't even ask him to move nothing. He just start moving stuff around because he felt like he wanted to. Y'all gonna let him come in and do that, huh? <laughs> you feel me? Y'all ain't gonna get active. I sure want to see because now it's good that Kendrick did this because now the ball is in their court. They have to respond. Somebody got to respond. Whether it's Drake, J, J. Cove, or both of them. It don't matter. Somebody got to respond to, to a Kendrick, man. You got to respond because you're going to look lame if you don't. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait to sit here to response, though. I can't wait, man. You know what I mean? I cannot wait to, to really see who going to do what, who going to really respond to this. You feel me? You know? Because it was cool, you know, you know, with Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying, with the other ladies and stuff, who don't like who, you know, who the queen of rap is. Okay, but now it's now it's the men's section getting active. That's why I say it's finally getting spicy, man. You feel me? None of that kumbaya, nah, bro. We getting active out here. We trying to see what you really talking about right now. You feel me? We trying to see what's really going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
You feel me? Let me see. Okay, whatever. Okay, I was checking to see who else. But yeah, man. I appreciate y'all watching this live tonight with me. And uh, we're going to find out soon who's really about that action when you talk about who's going to come at Kendrick, who's going to come at Future. We're going to find out who really about what they talk about because now we got somebody that's worthy of a good battle right now. You feel me? We got somebody like Kendrick Lamar, that hey, he can go bar for bar. You talk about making a hit record, he can do that too. You know what I'm saying? He's not a one-dimensional one dimensional rapper. He ain't just talking about rollies and, and, and mopeds all day. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't talking about riding scooters and my rollie all day. You feel me? He got bars too, so yeah. Let's see what they're going to do, man. You feel me? Like I said, it took a West Coast artist to get activated to see what they're going to do. Come on, man. <laughs> shout out to Drake. Shout out to J. Cole. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. Shout out to Future. Shout out to Metro Boomin', man. I can't wait to see what the part two of this is going to be. So I appreciate y'all watching this live tonight. I will be going live uh, tomorrow, so be on the lookout for me. I drop probably, depending on uh, what I got going on, I'll probably drop something, uh, go live somewhere in the afternoon tomorrow. So be on the lookout for me. And uh, I want to thank you all again for watching this live. Continue hitting that like button. If you watch this on the playback, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. You're new to my channel like what I'm kicking, drop something in the super chat on a playback on the super thanks. You know, feel me? I didn't even put, oh, hold on. I didn't even put the cash app. I mean, I do got the cash app up there. Okay, I'll make a show. So just in case you don't want to put something in the cash app, I got that for you too. So I want to thank y'all tonight, man, for watching this live. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back tomorrow. And hey, we'll, we shall see how the future continue with the, with the part two of the battle, huh? How you love that? I'm Sean B. Stolen, man. Till next time, y'all. Peace.